right. I guess we could end it right there. All right. That was 36 minutes. Perfect. Yeah. That was awesome. I don't talk much about altcoins, and people have been asking me about them, so that's going to be perfect, dude. Sweet. A lot of people are like, what do you think about Ethereum? What do you think about Dash? Like, especially right now, because both of them are up. Yeah. I'm really happy we just like ran into altcoins. I'm really happy I discovered that uh, card thing. Yeah, dude, that was an and awesome mentioning, thing. Mentioning that will really get people excited about Ethereum. If we put it like right there. And we should have even audio between us. All right, double check. Audio's recording. Yeah. Video one. Video two. Video two. Bitcoin price is at one thousand one hundred and twenty-six dollars. Nice. And Got bro, bucks. thank you so much for coming out. It's Appreciate pleasure. it, dude. It's, it's awesome. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, let everybody know who you are and uh, what you do. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Brandon Rosano. I. Uh, I'm new to Philadelphia and this East Coast side of things. Um, I am getting into doing uh, blogging and content creation, helping with um, showing the importance of digital privacy, how to use crypto assets to your benefit. And uh, after getting through all those, explaining how to um, become what you always wanted to be. A free, sovereign individual. Right, exactly. Earn and under my own name. And, in, and enjoying life, the world, the beauty, everything on this planet. And that's what I'm here to show. Dude, I love your Steam It posts. <laughs> They're fucking awesome. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below to his Steam It. Definitely go check out his posts there. Um, I really wanted to talk about the uh, the meetup real quick, though. Try to get yeah, sure. that in and out of the way real quick. But, like, dude, when I first met you at the first meetup I went to, totally thought you ran the show and you've been running the show there forever. Like, it just no, felt like when I got – because that was my first meetup. It just felt like you had, like, natural leadership then. Because if you didn't run the show, it just felt like everyone was like, yeah, he's the guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you kind of, like, just did it. And it was like – then I was like getting into the meetup a little more. I found out not that you were pretty much new to it as well, but dude, you took on that role so well and went with it. Like, that's awesome. Uh, how does that like feel? Like, do um, it feels nice. Uh, I mean, like well, like all of us, we are really passionate about it, and that's how. I mean, that's what really drove it. You know, like before. I mean. For about three years, I've been following Bitcoin, and I never really like took the initiative to like start like presenting myself to the community. I kind of just, you know, check the prices here and there, see what people have to say, spectated, never, a spectated, little bit. Yeah. yeah. I and invest every so often, but I never really um, made the effort to go out and meet people. I mean, I did, but it was like to buy Bitcoin. It wasn't like, hey, let's go hang out. Let's go get drinks, you know, right, like actually right. become like really make solid relationships, you know. And so um, once I discovered actually Steam It, I saw people were like writing and doing what they enjoy. And for me, it was uh, I really was passionate about cryptocurrency. I was like, you know what? I think it's time to break out of that enigma and just go out and just start creating content and since that i've just been trying to like meet more like-minded people you know finding out more about uh the community of uh bitcoin and all its subsidiaries yeah yeah it's vast yeah it is vast when you when you look at bitcoin and there's just a bajillion forks in that road and it's mm -hmm. that's what's so interesting about it, though. And like mm -hmm. the, the one so fork is like financial and investment, but there's so many other mm -hmm. forks and like different areas where Bitcoin is helpful, and they don't even know it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. Uh, what? How many um, Philadelphia or uh, Bitcoin PHL meetups have you been to before that one I was at? That was my first one. That was your first one. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! I yeah. could not have told. I would not have been able to tell. 
I, uh... Wow, what, yeah, that was my what, year first as well, obviously. Yeah, uh, I pretty much write, like, I want to say that was, like, about three weeks after I moved to Philadelphia. Oh, wow, okay. Previously, I was living in Peru with my fiancé. We were, um, just trying to do our own thing. Gaining some world XP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was from there. That's where she grew up, so I, uh, got to see where she, uh... You know, went to school, all her friends. That's yeah, once in a lifetime experiences right there. It was so nice. And what was great too was I got to experience um, living off of Bitcoin in a third world country. Oh, they did Bitcoin there in that's that's crazy. They 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 actually didn't. I had a debit card. I had a Wirex debit card and was Wirex is so cool. Oh man. It was so useful. And we both got in at a really low price, so Last year, it was like, at the very beginning, it was like about two, four, or maybe that was like the end of the previous year. We got in at like 240 or so, and then over time, it increased to like 600, 700, and we got to stay there for like five months, and it was, ah, it was nice. Right, right. It was really awesome, and uh, I also got to show some of her friends about uh, cryptocurrency, and they're like keeping an eye on it from South America, so it's pretty cool. Most people that I found that get involved in Bitcoin are usually tech savvy. If they're mm-hmm. not tech savvy, even if they're like money savvy, they're not very, they're like, I don't know about Bitcoin. But if they're like, if they know how to program or talk software or they know how to really. Or you know, just really into, into like tech, that yeah. sci-fi kind of stuff. They're oh, like yeah, futuristic yeah. kind of cyberpunk stuff. It kind of speaks to that crowd a little bit, Mm -hmm. which is funny because you would never assume that that crowd would have so much money because in the future, all these nerds are going to be rich. (laughs) We're going to have so many people on hoverboards with like, you know what I mean? All this Mm -hmm. gadget nerd stuff and people are going to be like, where did they get all the money? Like Bitcoin. We told you. You just didn't listen. I'm really interested in seeing what's going to happen next. There's so many different possible outcomes that it's really exciting it is i'm I'm waiting to see uh what our nation's stance is on it because it seems like mm-hmm. seems like that's going to be a question soon like where mm-hmm. do you stand and we're going to find out where we stand and i know it keeps coming up i know i've seen articles like in uh florida and new york places like that bitcoins come up and it's been classified as money it's it's cash mm-hmm. it's money mm-hmm. so that's great yeah in a sense that's great i like that mm-hmm. but uh i don't know what that really means down the road yeah. Like, I know the IRS is involved in Coinbase and all that stuff. I have no clue what that means. I ain't really selling my Bitcoin, so yeah, I don't know. I you know have to claim eventually, yeah, gains just I, yet. Yeah, I don't think yet, but eventually, yeah, who knows? I mean, hopefully, it, it I might guess get really strong on those exchanges, and hopefully, it goes up enough to where it does. Like, I don't, I don't mind following the law, you know, as yeah. long as it's it's legit, and and hopefully, it only happens because Bitcoin went through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so that was your first uh, Bitcoin PHL meetup. Um, like I said, you just went like perfect with the leadership role there. Um, uh, talk about a little bit about maybe what's coming up in the next meetup, the upcoming one, the 23rd of oh, yeah, uh, this, this month. This Thursday, yeah. we have um, our friend uh, Jack Tater coming out and talking about a Get Gems, this new application. Or I think it's actually been out for a little bit. It's been out for a little bit in it's, the works and the making. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, edited and, and in uh, in and, and out of like, a yeah, revised. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely yeah. a new concept on like a, a a money transfer chat app. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool because they have like their own built in game currency yeah, that yeah. you can earn by playing and chatting and using the app. Mm-hmm. And then from there, you can take those in-game like currency tokens and and, and do things them. with them. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you use the app and chat, and the more friends that you bring into the groups to talk in the group chats, and and the more you interact with the app, the more you can make. You know, they call them gems. Yeah. And they actually have a value. You know, so attached you, to it. Yeah. And then you can exchange it for. Uh, and you can transfer think, some to your friends uh, and stuff. I think you can also uh, exchange them for like gift cards, right? Oh, that's what they're working on right now. I think okay. the gems gift reward thing right now is in in revision. Okay. So right now, I think it's out of out of uh, commission. Okay. So right now, you can basically collect them and trade mm-hmm. them between each other. Okay. That's still, nonetheless, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good. It's and so like I said, it's new, sort of. So they're still, you know, they're working out. They're working things. out some kinks, and if you're interested in it, you can join it. 
and then you know send them an email with some ideas or if you run into a bug things like that mm -hmm. and they're really quick on updating it and changing it up nice but yeah so we'll have jack tater there and uh what about our sponsors man we got like three oh, sponsors yeah. for yeah, this we meetup got, uh, we have from this guy here, you got the uh, the Bitcoin podcast. We've had them since I think the second time or second yeah, meetup I mean, with dude, both of us. The first meetup I went to, I was like, "Yo, guys, we gotta get in on this. <laughs> this is cool." And I was when I was like first first with the BitcoinPodcast.com. So like they we weren't so familiar on like working terms. I was writing for them a little bit, yeah. and I was just like, "Yo, you guys gotta check this out." And you know, they went for it and like, you know, they were really excited about it the first time they did it. And now like, mm -hmm. you know, they're on board and they really want to see this, this meetup grow and hopefully get, it becomes contagious and other meetups pop up I, around I the, really you know, the world. So. And, I really think so. You know, that's think, what I'm hoping I think, I think for. We're, I think we're on to something. Yeah, me too. I, I want to see something in New Jersey because it's a little bit closer. Maybe something spring up in uh, or pop up in uh, New York. You know, mm -hmm. where we can help them organize and, you know, come up with like their agenda Based off like of like our morphing, stencil, morphing exactly into one big crypto family. Yeah, <laughs> crypto. Family. I like that. And then uh, we have um, also he's going to be talking about a uh, lawnmower, right? Yeah, lawnmower.io, yeah. and I think they were just acquired by was it CoinDesk? Yeah, or Somebody. Coin Telegraph, one of those. Yeah, Coin Telegraph, one of them definitely just acquired lawnmower.io. So. I don't know. Yeah. Bravo. But keep it. Don't change anything. If anything, add more coins. Yes. <laughs> yeah, please. I want to diversify that portfolio a little bit more than Bitcoin and Ethereum. I mean, right now, I'd really like to add some Dash, but that's a... Yeah. It's a little too high it's, it to get in. It is for my blood. I got yeah. in around like eight bucks, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm okay. But it's like, I, I'm, I don't sell. I just hoard. hoard. I'm, I'm a hoarder. I plan on selling everything in like 10 years, 20 years, and just like living on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be that. The SS Bitcoin. <laughs> or the SS Satoshi, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, man. Bought a yacht with Dash. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we have uh, also Athena Bitcoin as a sponsor. Oh, yeah. Um, and Bitcoin, it? BTC Nation. Uh, that's like their new little like side thing they're doing there to promote Bitcoin, like, you know, CTMs and stuff like that. Uh, or? Everything, just Bitcoin in general. Oh, nice. Um, not just like their Bitcoin ATMs, but, you know, Bitcoin in general is like a nationwide currency. Oh, cool. So, yeah, they have their cool little flag. I don't know. I want to get one. It's neat. If you haven't seen it, check no, out their I Instagram. Haven't. Okay. Yeah, Athena Bitcoin's Instagram and um, BTC or Bitcoin Nation. I'll have the links in the description below. But they have like these flags. Totally want to get a Bitcoin flag. Hmm. So cool looking. But yeah, we have them as sponsors. And then um, Luciano got us uh, Swarm City. Nice. So we got Swarm Good job, City. Luciano. Dude, you rock. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was awesome. So yeah, we got them guys hitting us up. And uh, we just want to you know, promote Swarm City and get them going. I mean, yeah, they just got their uh, first release or they launched their yeah, terminal the their other day. Their terminal so you can get some tokens. You can Collect swap. Them. Yeah. Yeah, you can swap your ARC tokens for yeah, SWAT yeah. tokens, SWT. So that's awesome. They're doing their, uh, I guess that's basically like a crowdsourcing fundraiser type deal in a mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you would like to support Swarm City, definitely check that out. Uh, Swarm.city, right? Swarm.city, yeah. Uh, it's a IPFS website. Yeah, so it's not .com, it's yeah, dot .city. city. Yeah. Which is confusing to people. I've had people message me where they do swarm.city.com and I'm like, no, you don't know yeah, how yeah, the yeah. internet works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. I, I, I feel like I take advantage of my, uh, my internet savviness, mm -hmm. my tech savviness. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, dot city. And they're just like, assume that they know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. We got to figure out how to make that more common knowledge, uh, swarm.city. That, mm -hmm. That's, that's going to hurt in the long run. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that is awesome, man. So we got like three sponsors for this meetup. So everybody should definitely come on out and yeah. check that out. Um, this video right here is going to be done yesterday to you guys watching it today because it's going to take a day to edit it. So it will be tomorrow to them to come out, right? Yeah. How's the math on that? Yeah, anyway, uh, come out. I think it's going to be tomorrow, tomorrow for you. It would be yeah. tomorrow, so definitely come the twenty third. Definitely come out. Uh, we're going to really try to have nice snacks, building. drinks. Yeah, it's at U Penn, right? It's at U Penn. It's a uh, uh, Huntman's Hall. Okay. Hunts 
Huntsman Hall. Huntsman, yeah. Uh, how um, do you? How would you get there from um, which like stop? Like Eighth and Market, you would just walk the rest. Eighth and Market, no. It's uh, 30th on Thirtieth Street. A, it's on Thirty Eighth and uh, Walnut. Okay. So you'd want to get off on Thirtieth. And, and just uh, walk down the Thirty Eighth and head to Walnut. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. That seems easy enough. Yeah, Everyone's got a phone, so check and you know check and use that. Mm -hmm. I'll have a link actually in the description box below. If you click on it, it'll just open your maps up and take you right to the location. So. Mm -hmm. You can always come back to this video, click the link, and it'll just take you there from pretty much anywhere. Cool. So, um, yeah, man, that's awesome. I can't wait to actually get there and see and hear what Jack has to say. Yeah. Uh, I guess some, mm -hmm. some financial mm -hmm. advice from that, man. He's a, he's a wizard there. Yeah. And also, uh, Luciano's going to do a little bit on uh, Swarm City. Yeah, dude, I... I am so excited for Swarm City that they me tell too. me to dial down a little bit. Every, They're like, every... we're not ready for that. <laughs> I'm like, but listen, everybody needs Swarm City. Yeah. Like, they... Uber's killing people. You mm -hmm. know, these companies that are out there that I don't want to keep, you know, t but they're just taking like 20, 30%. Yeah. When you could do Swarm.City and keep your money. Like, it's mm -hmm. your money. Check this out. Uh, when I was coming back from Boston the other day... Um... I found out something that just completely blew my mind. It was, um, uh, have you heard of Token Card? It's Token by, Card? Yeah. No. It's by um, uh, Monolith Studios. They're this uh, uh, Ethereum DAO that is making an Ethereum-backed debit card. What? Yeah. I, I, just, I just already. discovered this, so I highly recommend you guys checking out... Um, uh, from Monolith Studios, uh, this Ethereum debit card. That is awesome. Yeah. It, I think it's supposed to do a crowdfunding thing in, at the end of March. Don't uh, quote me on that. But that's what I think I uh, stumbled upon. That is awesome. Yeah. I was waiting to hear um, Shift Payments them mm -hmm. announce like yeah now we have a you know but uh, they haven't said anything yet i mean there's, they have a bitcoin card they, they have they have these uh debit cards that can do um what's it called shapeshift functionality but you're limited to just what shapeshift has That's or true. uh you have uh isn't shift card don't they just do bitcoin and that's it that's yeah, it just bitcoin and it's uh directly from your bitcoin account so it's yeah. not there's so far, I found so many different Bitcoin debit cards out there. Yeah. And I, I like shift payments because they don't have, like, the fees as much as, uh, you know, the, the, the static fees that, like, BitPay's card has. Mm. I was checking out their card. I'll be doing a video on that next. Nice. But, like, they got some fees involved, and I was like, I'm not so sure I like this. Uh, I think even Zappo has that, too. I, yeah. I remember when I was looking at those cards. I, but they're a little different how they work compared yeah. to shift, though, because yeah. they're more like top-up cards. Like mm. a basic Visa card that you would get from like you know a Walmart, store yeah. Or something. So you get one of those gift cards, and you would just top up money. But instead of sending U.S. dollar to top it up, you'd send your cryptocurrency, and mm. it, it would be loaded with U.S. dollar though. Oh, so okay. the the value is locked in. You don't have to worry about volatility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I think that's where the fees to come in. X. I think that's where all the fees come in with those cards because shape. I think Shapeshift gets around that because they don't have none. They don't hold none. Yeah, they're just have access to your account to pull Bitcoin and exchange mm -hmm. it. Um, but I really like but those cards. This this one sounds really exciting to me because of the fact that it applies to all Ethereum-based tokens. So any ERC-20 oh. uh, tokens. And I'm That's just really like, cool. wow, this is exciting. So it might even be useful for like Swarm City. You, you mm -hmm. know, do a, a, a activity or an action. Right in the wallet. And right in the wallet. Then. And then you pull the funds from what you just created for whatever it is that you did. Yeah, it's awesome. It's unbelievable. And the funds stay all on your wallet or in that contract. It's just right. pulled. And it's like, holy shit, man. Do you have any idea what the release date might be? Uh, I am not sure. I just remember seeing something at the end of March being a crowdfunding announcement, maybe. Mm. But... um. Nonetheless, the fact that this is coming, something to prepare for. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. I, I got into Ethereum like a day after I got into Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I jumped in head first when I found out about it. Well, actually, Ethereum is what got me into Bitcoin, to be honest. Oh, My really? coworker at the time was talking about Ethereum. 
and like the internet of things and stuff like that. And I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean the internet of things? You sound like, you know, a, a weirdo. Yeah. And he like showed me the video from uh, ethereum.org or something, or something like that. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember where it was, but it was like their YouTube video. And it was explaining it a little bit. And I was like, what? Like light bulb? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, of course, that makes sense. So people are, you know, disincentivized to hack things. It would it would cost money to send commands to this, that, and the other thing. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. It would establish a value to code. I like that. Mm-hmm. And we started talking about Ethereum a little bit more. And then he was like, yeah, dude, haven't you heard about Bitcoin? And I'm like, nah. I mean, I heard about it on the news. And I was obviously like everybody else. Isn't that drug money? Yeah, and he was yeah. like, nah, dude, it's technology. And then we got into that. And that's... It probably three days later, I bought my first whole Bitcoin. Oh, wow. Yeah, from like not knowing anything about it. <laughs> I even wrote an article titled, I don't know what a Bitcoin is, but I bought one. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, because I, I didn't know what it was, but I, I, I knew what it could do. Mm-hmm. And I saw what Ethereum could do. And I bought a bunch of Ethereum pretty early on too. I wish I was in this type of community at the time. Like they were just talking about like the ICO for Ethereum. Yeah, because I guarantee you, I would have jumped in on that. Like that oh, just yeah. made I mean, sense. I knew a lot of people were like just throwing down two hundred bucks. Oh, no big deal. Yeah, exactly. You know? What two hundred coins, right? Two hundred bucks, Some, something, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. And they fucking made out like bandits. But thanks for the initial investment, because we wouldn't have been this far without it. You know, mm-hmm. some people took a risk on that uh, yeah. release. Like that, I would have been in on that for sure. Because I understood as soon as like the concept was a, was shown to me yeah. it was almost like when somebody saw a lighter make fires so you don't have to sit there and smack two stones together yeah you're like genius yeah why didn't i think about making fire portable mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's like why didn't nobody think of this sooner and um yeah. you know it took a 19 year old to do it right then he come then vitalik come out with ethereum's yeah. white paper when he was 19 yeah something like that he's That's a young ridiculous. lad he's a millionaire already yeah that's awesome yeah. Yeah, that would be uh that would really help out with that too if they had a card for that. That would bring more users to it. Adoptions Absolutely. everything, you know. The Absolutely. more people that use it, the more it is at value. I don't know a lot about Ethereum. I keep hearing that it doesn't really have like a, a token or a coin limit like Bitcoin stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know a bunch about it. Yeah, I would like to know more about it. Yeah, I feel for sure. I feel like it would be a a smart place to uh, uh grow in. Like when it comes to like uh, learning programming, I feel like knowing smart contracts, since that seems like that's going to be the future of. Yeah, that's like learning how to code in the early 90s now. Yeah. So like yeah. you might as well get ahead and start. Yeah. Like, I why think... would you learn HTML today yeah, <laughs> if you're just right. going to start learning code? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can start, dig it. Start learning uh, solidity. Yes. And understanding how it has grown where it started, what it's become, and be a master at it. Yeah, and you'll have a job in the next banking industry. Yeah, absolutely. The the next future crypto banking industry. Yeah, because we already know that that's going to happen. It it feels almost ignorant to be like, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. But I'm like, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. It is. It's like seeing somebody invent electricity and somebody's like, nah, electricity will never work. And you're like... All right, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, man. <laughs> I, at that point, I can't argue with you. Yeah. Like when people are like, Bitcoin isn't backed by anything. And I'm just like, but what's the US dollar backed by? And most people in their adultness say gold. Like to this day, I've been answered by gold. And I'm just like, I don't even know if this is going to be a conversation worth having, but I'm going to try to help you. Um, <laughs> that happened a while ago. Yeah, or 70 years to- ago. I think, or something. I mean, that's insane. But a lot of people are led to believe that their money has power because of that. And I'm like, no, no, no. But it's, I mean, I guess that's like ignorance is bliss. Because as soon as I started looking into money, it was the like kind of worried me as that got me put my money in Bitcoin and some stuff in stock markets. And I want to start getting silver and gold. But like just looking at how money works and how it's designed to work, I was like, well, this is this is broken. Yeah, this like, system's been broken. I don't even know how to do this job, but it's like I walked into it. I was like, yeah, this doesn't work. I'm out of here. Like, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. And So that, I got my money and, out of here. And that's exactly what happened to me, too. Because of Bitcoin, I gained an interest in wanting to understand how the money system works and understanding why are we like constantly beating ourselves to death 
with this system that is completely broken. Because it's making somebody rich. That's why. I think it's just the years of conditioning. That's, that's the true, The years too. of conditioning and so many people constantly saying this is how it is, but it's not. No, it doesn't. Ha well, it I mean, was, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, it you know? doesn't have to be. It can be. The whole thing, I think, that scares people off from, like, not just Bitcoin, but something like that is the personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. They mess up their money. They can't just point at a banker and yell and scream and kick and punch a door. And then get everything back. Yeah. You know, so the personal responsibility is, to most people, worth the cost, worth the risk. Sacrificing. Yeah, the sacrifice, exactly. Of personal information. Yeah. I mean, the bank that you bank with, that you have a debit card with, literally knows everything you've ever bought. Mm -hmm. And then they have it on file. Yeah. They know who you are based on your purchases better than you do. Yeah. And then they sell that to Coke. They're like, yeah. you know, they sell it to somebody else. And they're like, yeah, advertise to him. He buys your stuff. Oh, you don't believe me? Give me some money. I'll show you his records. You can see what he buys. And then you know that you can advertise to him and you'll make money. Yeah. And that's it's what they guarantee. do. It's, yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. how the system works. But mm -hmm. it doesn't ha you don't have to sacrifice that personal information if you want to take on some personal responsibility. Yeah. You know, get yourself a Bitcoin hardware wallet. It's encrypted. It's password protected. You enter the wrong password three times, it's wiped. I go to my secret, super secret, super secure lock boxy thingy, pull out my recovery sheet. I can back up all my funds right onto my computer. Mm -hmm. So much easier than if a bank goes out of business and I try to break a window with a brick and try to find something worth selling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If the bank is gone, there goes your money. Yeah. So, like, people just are like, yeah, but it's worth it because somebody steals your Bitcoin thing and they figure it out. Who are you going to yell at? You're like, you're right. I'm not, in, I'm not uh, insured. Yeah. But it's worth it for me to have that privacy, that, that I know that that's here, that's there, never going to go nowhere. Mm -hmm. I love that feeling. That's that, that security, personal security feels good. Oh, absolutely. And the personal responsibility after you get used to it, it's just common knowledge at that point. Mm -hmm. It's like looking both ways before you cross the road. Yeah. Absolutely. And I feel like, I mean, there's this, uh, how do I say it? There's this differentiating uh, characteristic between people that are like Bitcoiners and people like the average person. You know, there's like we were talking about this, like wanting to have financial freedom. And I feel like some people are just too, like you said, lazy to want to. What do you think is going to bring those people to using Bitcoin, though? Like, what do, I know, we both know that eventually everyone's going to use Bitcoin. Yeah. Eventually. But what is it going to be that gets them there? Like, what do you think is going to Ooh. tip the pot? I would have to say what Dash is already making their way towards, the evolution, making um So wallets. marketing. Marketing. <laughs> marketing. marketing. Bitcoin needs marketing. Good marketing and uh, good uh, user-friendly wallets and... Things Bitcoin has like great user-friendly wallets. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I, I think the marketing thing, like with Amanda B. Johnson and, and all like the Dash loudness, Dash is just loud. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really out there with a megaphone and Bitcoin's kind of taking like that backseat, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to step on your toes, but I'm already doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like watching the dash price rise and everything along with Bitcoin is super comforting. Yeah. You know, most coins don't go up with Bitcoin. And when they do, they're the ones you know are usually more secure in, in stability and price and maybe have a future. Well, I I kind of feel like Dash already has oh, potential of having a future because of its um incentive uh to want to participate in it, you know, they have the master node system where if you have the reward, a, yeah. yeah, if you have a thousand uh, collateral, you can actually make a passive income with it. Mm -hmm. And for people that have that kind of money, they can put that money in and it'll continue to grow as the currency grows. Right. It's like so a whole different type of a uh, bond in a sense. Yeah. It's awesome. I love Dash. They're so cool. It, yeah. It's like a cool currency. It's just yeah. cool. I like how, you know, they're, how I see Bitcoin is more like like the storage of value and Dash being the transfer of value. So yeah. I would take some Bitcoin, turn it into Dash, and send it from Dash from me to you. Yeah. You'd get it instantly. You might convert that Dash back into Bitcoin and store it away for yeah, another knows? day. Maybe, maybe uh, Bitcoin will be like the gold standard and 
whoever. Well, if everybody was using Bitcoin for coffee, the the, the transaction time and the fees. And, oh God. So that's why I see that there is a per like like um, Vitalik saw the need for Ethereum because you can't do that with Bitcoin. It would just bog the system. Yeah. And I see it, what we we want Bitcoin to do with you know buying coffee, buying chips and cigarettes and blah 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 with Bitcoin yeah. and. I think that'll bog it down. So I'm saying like, Dash definitely is serving a purpose that has a need. But oh, is it going to be Dash or Monero or Zcash to get used for this? Who knows? Or a next coin that ain't even mentioned yet. Yeah. But so far, I think Dash is hitting the sweet spot. Oh, yeah. And with its evolution coming out at the end of the year. And have you seen the pictures of it? It's, no. <laughs> it looks just like PayPal. Really? Super easy, user-friendly, uh, usernames, passwords even has a built-in marketplace in the wallet. It's so all about you, user-friendliness right now. Yeah. I, feel I mean, like if that's, I can give I my mom like, an app and she can be like, oh, this is how I save 20% on Amazon using per... Like, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I, easy. That's really what it is. It's making... Uh, sending value as easy as sending an email, but even easier than that by just pressing one or two buttons. Right. You know? And the more instantness than instantaneous you know, yeah, transfer. Instant. That's where I really like that. That's awesome. So, uh, speaking of like altcoins and stuff like that, though, like, um, what do you? Where do you see? You know, the Bitcoin versus altcoin situation. Like, you do obviously mm -hmm. see room for altcoins and stuff oh, like yeah. that, right? There's different. I mean, there's. So I don't know what they call them, Bitcoin ists or whatever. Maximalist. Maximalist. There yeah. you go. Yeah, that's the word. Um. The way I see it is that, like how I was mentioning, Bitcoin could be the gold standard, and then there's all these other alternatives, and and also there's different types of needs. Right, you know, exactly. Like Monero, the asset classes like, and stuff. Like Monero is more of a privacy-based currency. Those are for those types of people that are doing more risk-taking stuff that... Uh, I mean that will exist no matter what. Whether oh yeah, laws I like exist the analogy. I can't remember where I heard it, but. Um, like I'm, so I can't. I wish I could quote you, whoever you are. I'm sorry, <laughs> but they were saying like the the Monero Zcash thing would be like, what if Samsung was gonna buy you know X amount of something from a Chinese supplier that Apple deals with? Maybe Samsung doesn't want Apple to see that receipt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they could use those private currencies. I don't see exactly how much money is which transferred or value transferred knowing around. Where it's coming from? Exactly. Yeah. They don't to. even know if Samsung bought those parts. Who knows who yeah. bought those parts? Yeah. So that's why it was like, all right, so I can see that too. Great analogy, whoever yeah. you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, it, it makes sense. And also, I mean, there's certain areas where they have certain restrictions. You can't buy like a Bible in certain countries, mm -hmm. you know, so there's certain risks. Yes, with the Venezuela food on Amazon situation and everything. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Exactly. Because yeah, so they were cracking down on them, I heard. So yeah, yeah they, they could use that. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what the current status is on the, uh, the GUI wallet for Monero. I don't know if it's like official now and you can use it. I've seen the command line thing. But Monero? I yeah. feel like their wallet wasn't going to come out forever. Yeah, it's been like that for a while. Yeah, they're going to, I heard they're not going to have it out for like another year. Hmm. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I think I, I think I am. I've seen, I've seen, I know Jack said I, they're not going to deal with it, right? I'm pretty I've, sure I've Jack seen, said no. I've, I've seen uh, pictures of it. The official one. It looks nice, but I don't know when it's. Yeah, they're probably if, keeping if that in out, house for a while. I don't know if it's out. If they cleared out all the bugs, or I still want Jax to just start using whatever cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. are cool. Jax should just be cool and add them because their interface is awesome. I love Jax. Yeah. They hold. They hold whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah. And it's and on it's a, my phone. And it's across the board. And like yeah, it has shapeshift built in, so I could trade coins between. Got... Also. Uh, Laptop, Windows oh, Phone, right? Nine or, different platforms yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. Tablet as well. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I feel like they're kind of they should be like the standard for these new wallets coming out. You know, some of this stuff should just be standard. Yeah. So uh, anything you want to talk about, man? Uh, anything um, in particular? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. What do you think about this Bitcoin price right now? The, uh, the ETF, I heard, it's up to uh, 1,121. That's pretty good. It's crazy. It's gone up uh, 11 since I last looked at it earlier today. 
It was like since yesterday, it's gone up a hundred bucks. I feel like, right? Wow. Something like that. Yeah. So it wasn't. It wasn't one thousand. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, no. Something about the ETF release. Did you hear about any of that? Mm -mm. I've kind of been out of the loop. I'm still trying to recover from my uh, Boston trip. Uh, I, yeah. I I was just getting set up for the interview, but I saw uh, Trevon James posted a video about. The, some ETF and the price rise, and I wanted to check that out. Didn't know yeah. if you heard or read anything about it. No, Could just be yeah. news today because the price is going up today. Yeah. Oof. This thing's like insane, dude. Hmm. It's called Zions or something. I don't know, but it's like <laughs> Red Bull, but on Red Bull. Like if Red oh. Bull took a Red Bull and then you drank that. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. This thing's insane. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, so I guess we could wrap it up. I just want to talk about or uh, mention the uh, meetup again. Yes, yes. Uh, definitely come out to the meetup. Um, guys, you can check out uh, Bitcoin PHL, all one word, on Facebook. Um, on the meetup app, it's the same, right? It's uh, Bitcoin PHL. Yeah. I even believe it. we got the website, right? BitcoinPHL.com. Somebody sent me a link to a website. It was it really awesome. Jason. Could yeah, Jason, Jason, I believe, has the website. I'll have the links to that below. We're going to try to have um, the meetup is on the 23rd, which would be tomorrow for you guys if you're watching the day this comes out. And then two more meetups next month? Yes, I believe it's the 16th of March. I don't think we have a, a set Yeah, I just want to yeah, get you know, your, uh, your ears wet on that. And then on the 30th as well in March. So we're going to try to have two more meetups next month. Um, if you can't make this one, we're going to try to have one on the weekend next month. A lot of people I've seen ask yeah. for the weekends. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get there on the weekend um, and do one. So check out the description box below. Definitely come out to the Bitcoin meetups. Uh, thank you again to our sponsors, thebitcoinpodcast.com, uh, Athena Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Nation, and Swarm.City. Thank you, guys. And, uh, bro, thank you so yeah. much, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Dude, thank you for stopping by. <laughs>